I think it should be fine, but I'm gonna approach slowly. Just go for the best. Let's hope it'll fit just fine. It was worth the risk anyway. Like today they gave me a second Big Mac for free. I don't think that security is really high level because it's pretty easy to sneak in. As you can tell with me now, because I'm not a resident anymore. Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Tracking with Vlad. Today is Monday and I'm starting my work week. My wife just brought me here and she's living back home and I have some work to do. So first, let's check the mud flap because it has been fixed since I got here to the parking lot. I left them the old one just in case they can salvage it, but they just installed a new one. There is my original mud flap and the new mud flap. Looks a little different, but it's in its place. So it doesn't really matter. So let's do PTI and we have to finish our delivery, which is only 30 minutes away from here. Today is freezing cold in Chicago. It's like 10 degrees outside Fahrenheit. I'm hoping that my next load is gonna get me somewhere warmer. Probably Florida, Mississippi, Alabama. It's, it's not that much fun to work on a flatbed when it's that cold. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm a professional driver. I'm supposed to be able to work in any condition. Alright, I am done with my PTI now, let's go and complete this delivery. My GPS, Google Maps, brought me here and uh, I didn't use my tracking GPS this time because I thought I'm gonna be good, but it looks like there's clearance 13 feet and 5 inches. I've just seen a cement truck went there. I think I should be fine, but I'm gonna approach slowly and just hope for the best. Wish me luck. My week starts with some issues already. Gosh. Looks like I've made it. <laughs> I was lucky this time. So busy here today, plenty of trucks, but most of them are picking up, so I have a delivery. So I brought this siding from Michigan Upper Peninsula to Chicago and broker paid for this load $1,500, so I made a little less than 500 bucks. Now we're gonna be en route to pick up our next load and we're going to Aurora, Colorado. My favorite Colorado, again, we're gonna be taking an elevator and uh, I hope that I-80 is pretty clean and dry like in Iowa, Nebraska, because yeah, it is winter. So I'm about to get unloaded now. I still have to organize my food supplies in my truck because I didn't have enough time for it. And guys, just look at my coat, like, it's been only an hour of work and I'm already such a mess. But it is what it is. I'm gonna get it cleaned someday. Thank you. 
I've made it to my pickup. Turns out I have an appointment and I'm an hour and a half early, but they will load me now anyway. So everything's going good now. Right, so we've picked up another elevator from Illinois to Colorado. This shipper is like two miles away from the previous shipper when I picked up an elevator a couple of weeks ago. And last time we delivered an elevator to Denver downtown. This time we're going to Aurora, Colorado. It's like the suburb of Denver in the Southlands area. This load again is pretty light, it's like maybe 10-15 thousand pound tops. Broker pays for this load $4,400, which is $100 less than last time, but still not that bad. 1,000 miles, 14 and a half hours of driving, it's $4.4 per mile. So yeah, I am ready to roll. I just got a call from my dispatch and it looks like we have an opportunity to pick up a partial. It's uh, 15 feet of bricks and it goes to Colorado as well. Broker pays $2,400 for it. If they can fit these bricks with the rail that I have in the back of my trailer, this is gonna be a great bonus for me. I just pulled over at the rest area and I'm waiting to hear back from broker if we're good to go or no. Well, I may still arrive and if it doesn't fit that we're not gonna pick it up, but it looks like a good opportunity to make some extra money. I arrived at this brick facility. Everything is looking good now. It looks like it's 11 bundles. It should weigh like 20,000 pounds. Let's hope it will fit just fine because if it works out, then I will make extra 800 bucks for the same trip I'm already doing. No luck for me today with the partial. They said they can't load me because they don't want to be liable in case if something happens to the trail they didn't want to touch it at all and uh, they didn't want to put it all the way in the back because it's 20,000 pounds like I may have a risk of jackknifing if I hit the ice I mean it's reasonable but I could make $840 easily oh well it was worth the risk anyway I spent an hour of my time coming here but yeah I keep on going with no partial. Good morning everyone from the city of Avoca, Iowa. So while I was driving yesterday, the weather condition in Iowa got worse. It's extremely cold, like now it's 5 degrees outside, Fahrenheit. And the road yesterday night got pretty icy. So I stopped earlier than planned and also I have decided to sleep through the whole night and wait until it's gonna be nice and bright outside to continue my journey because 
when it's dark I just can't see everything on the road like it's pretty dangerous to drive on the icy road in the night so yeah now it's almost 9 a.m. and I'm ready to continue driving I have eight and a half hours of driving ahead to get to Denver Colorado and that means that I'm gonna get there after sunset which ruins my plans to go to explore red rocks or something but safety is top priority for me I would like to stay alive to stay safe not to get stranded not to get jackknifed or anything like that so yeah I'm taking slow and safe approach here now I'm gonna do my PTI and we'll be ready to roll Got some diesel at Loft Truck Stop as well as Big Macs. Guys, if you ever go to McDonald's, make sure to use the mobile app because it always has some deals. Like today, they gave me a second Big Mac for free. It's, I like saving on junk food, as you can tell. Right, we're three and a half hours away from Colorado, from Denver area. Before I became a truck driver, I used to be a cable guy for a major communication company. And I've connected this particular house several years ago. And this is the complex where I used to live. I'm gonna show you now how it looks like. This is a really great place in Denver, Colorado. This is the house where I used to live. Yeah, I really miss this place. The second floor unit. This is the main clubhouse that has a restaurant, huge pool, leasing office, gym, climbing wall, tennis courts and everything. It's standing next to the lake, which is an awesome feature. This complex has enormous territory. There used to be six villages and each of those villages has 
their own clubhouse with pool, hot tub and uh, some sorts of other amenities but they also have like a main listen office and also they have a private lake and all this stuff is gated I don't think that security is really high level because it's pretty easy to sneak in as you can tell with me now because I'm not a resident anymore but I know all about this place the lake is enormous it's like takes maybe 15 minutes to walk around and uh, basically this older villages that I showed you they were built in 1980s some of the units were renovated but for the most part it's a little outdated now but the price and quality you get was pretty good I used to pay $1,500 for a two-bedroom unit here I don't know what the price is now but probably it went up as everywhere else but they sold this complex in like 2017 or 18 and they built a new one across the lake it's at the same territory but it has a different name now we're gonna go there and i will show you how the new building looks like every time i'm thinking of moving back to colorado this is the first place i think of because i know the area pretty well and this is like the best of both worlds you have a good territory with a private lake and uh completely new building yeah it's supposed to look pretty nice so that is the restaurant i was talking about and there's a pool oh no they closed the pool for the season and this is the hot tub it used to have a backlight like nice blue lights there's a restaurant for residents cool thing about this restaurant is it's not really expensive i went there maybe twice but they have pretty low prices like for wings mimosas some other appetizers this is another village one of the old ones and this is their clubhouse it is smaller, but it has a picnic area with the grill and everything and a pool that's closed for the season too. It's very convenient because you don't have to walk too far to enjoy outdoors with your friends and family. Let me guys know in the comments if you like this tour you didn't ask for. I'm just excited about this place, so trying to show everything around here. And that's the new building I was talking about. This side of the building has a nice view to the lake and the other side has a view to the cemetery <laughs> but it's green and peaceful no noisy neighbors when you're next to cemetery pizza oven looks interesting this place is called airy denver prices for two bedroom units are starting at twenty three hundred dollars i think that all in it's gonna be like twenty five hundred dollars plus with some you know how they always add some management fees or fee just for being their fee yeah $2,300 plus for a two-bedroom unit. 
This is 2022, almost 2023 now. Oh well, let me know if you would like to live in this complex for this much. <laughs> I found a Colorado food truck with a brewery. I guess I can have one tonight. This is the milk stout. Doesn't look like milk. Burgers ready. Hey, thank you. You too.